Hello and welcome to Cliff Reviews Art House. This time I'm reviewing the film Smoke Sauna Sisterhood directed by Anna Hintz. This seems to have been really well received by the critics that I've read. I seem to be disagreeing with the critics on quite a few films recently, but I didn't find it as special as the great reviews imply. This is a documentary about a smoke sauna in Estonia. The sauna is presented as a kind of sacred space where people go for certain rituals. This is a group of women who meet at the sauna over a period of seven years, I think. They share stories and experiences, including certain traumatic events that some of them have experienced. It's about bonding between the women and healing. I really like the sound of this film. I'm well into the idea of a sacred space for healing like this and the human intimacy that they experience in the process. There is much to like about this film. First, it feels like a feature film rather than a documentary. It's shot in an absolutely beautiful way. It's dark in the sauna and there often seems to be only a single light source. The cinematography handles this light and dark in a really beautiful way. In fact, it's stunning to look at. It gets the contrasts so right, with the bodies and faces lit against a black, black background. The skin looks incredible. It looked like some of those great old masters paintings, where there's a candle and you see all the shadows on the faces. The camera is very intimate, so we really see skin in all of its glory. There is a lot of nudity in this film, but again this is beautifully handled. It's never erotic or even that sensual. Not all of the women choose to show their faces, so there are a lot of partial shots of bodies. Many of the shots focus on a hand or a breast. The nudity both inside the sauna and outside, in both snow and sunshine, gives the film a natural rawness stripping back to absolute human basics. At times it really made me think of Jenny Savile's nude paintings, really finding beauty in folds of skin that may not be considered conventionally beautiful in our superficial society. So it's all sounding good so far, where did it go wrong for me? I so love the idea of this healing process that the women go through, and the content of what they discuss is honest, vulnerable, shocking. It should work. But somehow it just didn't feel authentic for me. I never felt any connection to what the women were experiencing. At first I wondered if this is a film that women will most respond to. I saw it in a cinema with perhaps six people and I was the only man. Perhaps this is the case. On the other hand, I think that one problem may be that the cinematography is so intimate. This is definitely not a fly on the wall documentary. The camera's often very close to the subjects. This makes it look incredible, but I do wonder if this affects the authenticity of it. It did make it feel like it could have been a script. I knew it was a documentary, but I would have been unsure if I hadn't known that. I really wasn't always convinced that these were totally naturalistic conversations. I learned afterwards that several of the crew, including the DOP, were men. This means that there were men very close to the subjects. I have nothing against this in principle. In fact, I love the idea that the women trusted the men to allow them into such an intimate space. But it does affect the extent to which this is an authentic sisterhood experience. I'm not actually saying that I don't think it's authentic. I'll always trust a filmmaker unless I have a reason not to. I've watched an interview with Anna and I liked what she said. But it either feels natural and authentic or not. And for me, there was a nagging doubt. And this stopped me connecting with the film in an emotional or spiritual way. One other thing that slightly bothered me, and perhaps this is just a personal thing, there wasn't very much silence in the film and it felt like it would have really benefited from this. When there's no talking, most of the time the silence is filled with music. Some of the music is good and all feels appropriate for the situation. 
However, I was almost craving to sit in silence with the women sometimes. The film is around 90 minutes, and after an hour it started to feel quite long. However, it's a beautifully made film, and clearly from reading the critics, my experience is definitely not the general experience. I would say that it is worth watching, because I admire its aims, and it's a masterclass in light and dark cinematography. Thanks for watching. See you next time.